Hey guys, this is MB from underrockchance.com and welcome back to my NBA betting model predictions and projections for today, Sunday, November 12th. Uh, we will go through projections, but I will also have a couple of comments about the betting model and uh, uh, the projections I make. Okay, so if you have my NBA betting model and you make your own projections, which is what I recommend because uh, I'm one of the, not, I, I will not say the only guy out there uh, who is giving you the tools, the spreadsheet, so you can make your own analysis because most other bettors uh, who actually make money from sports betting, uh, they will not uh, share this with you. But uh, when I started with, with my website, uh, I decided uh, to help bettors who want to bet with numbers uh, because uh, before I even started with my website, I already escaped nine to five. So I wanted to give uh, everything, the mindset, the strategies, the, the, the knowledge that I have. And I think this is the only proper way if you want to help someone in sports betting. It is not just about the peaks or about formulas or about, about betting models. Although I know that most people are just looking for one piece of advice, maybe a betting model, maybe a formula, and then they uh, simply skip the rest. Uh, but if you have my betting model, okay, and I received a couple of questions why sometimes my projections are not the same. Uh, I saw in last couple of days that uh, people who have my betting model, they make one mistake and I will show you what, okay. So it is explained in my video instructions, but uh, I think maybe you missed it. So when you go to total stats current tab, okay, I will show you here uh, in AG tab, okay, once you add the stats, Every time when you add the stats, you need to drag down this, okay? You need to drag down this so you align. This is the only thing you need to do, okay? It is very important thing, but this is the only thing you need to do after this, okay? So add the stats, drag down, and this is the only thing you need to drag down, okay? After you do this, uh, the projections will be correct and similar to, to mine projections, okay? Not similar, but it should be the same uh, if we use the same stats. Uh, of course, uh, we use different bookmakers, so the difference will be uh, uh, different, right? But, uh, and of course, if you use the, the different lineup, uh, for example, today we have uh, Miami against, uh, against San Antonio Spurs. So if you make a projection with Jimmy Butler, you will get different projection than with him in the lineup. So this is those are the only difference. But what is most important uh, when it comes to betting models? I prepared all the formulas for you, so you have all the lineups. You see how you can calculate possessions per minute, uh, points per minute, and how you combine this all. Uh, so at the end, when you type, I don't know, Lakers against Golden. Golden State, you get projections, you get your, your number. This is the most important thing. So you don't need to do it from scratch, okay? So uh, you can join our betting course if you want to learn how to do this. And of course, uh, if you're a member of our uh, uh, betting masterclass, uh, I also shared this much earlier in our Discord group. You can, uh, you're invited to share your projections there as well. We can compare uh, and we can talk about this uh, and uh, many other things. Okay, so those are just a couple of comments before we start. Uh, so far, 5.4, uh, 1.08 units of profit, yield or ROI plus 12.71%, uh, beating the line, uh, positive closing line value numbers, both uh, against no weak pinnacle and uh, against weak pinnacle, right? And all my projections are always against pinnacle taken and also closing. So no uh, manipulating which uh, shady bookmaker. So, when, for example, here, when you don't see uh, bookmaker, so that means that uh, Pinnacle at that time didn't have projected lines. Uh, of course, of course, if you can get better odds, if you can get better, uh, better price, of course, you should take this, okay? Because different bookmakers will offer much better odds. For I saw this many, many times during my career. Of course, if you have the chance, if you have a bookmaker, uh, if you can do this on betting exchanges, take the, take the advantage, uh, uh, get the best price uh, you can get, okay? Um, but uh, as I mentioned a couple of times, if you share picks on the internet, if you're a handicapper, I think the standard should be uh, Pinnacle 
to show your betting skills, okay? Um, because since I run my website, uh, the, the benchmark is, is Pinnacle, right? So not uh, some other bookmaker. So uh, every single betting mode that I have created was always against Pinnacle odds. Because if you can beat Pinnacle odds, you can beat uh, the, rest, uh, the rest of the bookmakers as well, okay? So let's go to today's projections. I didn't find any qualified bet, but I hope that uh, my numbers can help you somehow to make smarter bets. For example, yesterday, uh, the one game which was really close to be qualified bet was Orlando against Milwaukee Bucks. Orlando beat Milwaukee Bucks. So if you took it, um, it was, uh, I, I hope it was uh, useful advice. Uh, but I will stick uh, to my strategy and uh, I hope that I can hit 15 units. Uh, so let's go to today's games. Charlotte Hornets against Knicks, my projected odds, my projected spreads. Uh, spreads and the odds are two different things. Uh, minus 12, minus 10, uh, as you see, two-point difference. I'm looking for at least five-point difference. In some very rare occasions, I can go with four, but usually in the past, I was using seven-point difference. Uh, maybe later I can change this. Uh, if I reach the goal or if I will be close to 15 units, then I can be a little bit more selective. So it is a strategy play. So it is not just blindly throwing money and hoping for the best. It is a strategy where you set the goal, what you want from this, what you will do after this, if you reach this goal, uh, what is exit strategy. I should put it like this minus 20 units, right? So everything is uh, predetermined and uh, uh, set the strategy. So uh, you don't need to waste daily energy what to do. So everything is like this. Uh, I do this and if this happens, then I do this. Okay. So once you set the rules in your strategy, uh, of course, you can be flexible uh, and you can adjust, improve. This is something we need to do. But once you set the strategy, once you set the rules, uh, the life is much easier, uh, right? Uh, then I don't know if you just look for peaks or if you wait for others, if you don't have the confidence or if you don't have any uh, numbers-based uh, 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 method to find value bets, then it is always a stress. It is always a little bit different. So um, when I, uh, not give advice, but when I talk about my approach, I like to set the rules about everything, right? So set the rules, what you will do and how you will do, have a bigger picture, and then this is the best way. Uh, Washington Wizards against Brooklyn, minus five, minus seven, uh, two point difference, not good enough. Then we have Memphis, Los Angeles Clippers, my lines and bookmakers lines are basically the same. Indiana, Philadelphia, this is three point difference. Uh, I have Philadelphia at minus nine, bookmakers minus six. So. Philadelphia, small lean with Philadelphia to cover this minus six spread. I didn't check what what were the lines uh, later because this is something I, I did much earlier. Uh, video come out much later, right? Uh, and then we have Miami Heat against San Antonio Spurs. I have two projections here, okay? So first I made projections with Jimmy Butler in the lineup. Uh, Miami Heat minus four, San Antonio plus four. Uh, I don't know if he will play. So if we take him out, we get Miami Heat at minus one. Uh, so this is just a, a prediction uh, if uh, he will play. But also bookmakers have my, minus one for Miami Heat. So I maybe he will not play. Okay, this this just suggests that uh, Jimmy Butler will not play uh, for uh, for Miami today. So I would stay away from this game anyway. Detroit against Chicago. Uh, no value, one point difference. Dallas Mavericks against Pelicans. Uh, my lines and bookmakers lines are exactly the same. Denver, Houston, I have Denver at minus four. Bookmakers minus 3.5. So as you see, the same numbers. Oklahoma, Phoenix, I have Phoenix at minus 3.5. Bookmakers minus three. Again, the same. Uh, Minnesota, Gold, uh, Minnesota against Golden State. Uh, I have Golden State at minus 2.5. So you need to check your bookmakers line and if there is at least five point difference, uh, then this would be qualified bet. Uh, I also think I reprojected, we can reproject this. Uh, no, this is the, yes, this is the, the, the those are the projections. So uh, I'm not focusing on the totals. If I would focus on totals, I would look for at least 10 point difference. Uh, but when it comes to spreads, at least five point difference. So I would take Golden State at plus 2.5. 
and Minnesota Timberwolves at plus 7.5. Of course, uh, I think the, the spreads are fair, so no value in this game. And the last game, Portland against Lakers. I have Lakers at minus 9, uh, projected uh, on Portland plus 9. And uh, so, again, if you can get Lakers at minus uh minus uh four minus four right this this would be five point difference then this would be qualified bet and if you can get portland at plus uh plus 14 then 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 this would be also a qualified bit okay so uh that that's it for me today uh 10 minutes a little bit longer video but i hope you uh got some uh ideas from my video and whatever you decide to take, I wish you good luck. And always remember, never blindly follow anyone. Uh, find your own way uh, in sports betting. Don't compare with others because it is not the goal to become perfect better. It is not the goal to be the best better in, in the world. Uh, the goal should be becoming the best version of a sports better you can be. And once you do this, uh, then you will see if you're making profit or if betting is not for you. Okay, But the goal should be always... Uh, comparing with yourself, uh, how you evolve every single day, every single month, and uh, try to become the best version of a sports better, which includes not only numbers, not only analysis, but the whole lifestyle. Because all comp all competitions right now in the world, not only in sports betting, but if you run a business, if you run a restaurant, if you play sports, if you do sports betting, the competition is huge. It is brutal. The competition is brutal, okay? No matter what you do. So if you bet and at the same time you smoke, you drink alcohol, you cannot compete again uh, uh, versus the, the other person who is doing the same analysis, but he's not drinking, he's not smoking, he's doing a gym, he has clear mind, because at some point he will make better decision. The same is if you play basketball. So you, ha you can have two same talent and play talented players and one is smoking, one is drinking. Uh, both have the same skill set, but the other one has healthy lifestyle. At some point, he will outperform him. The same is in business. If you have negative person, negative people uh, with the same skill set, with the same dreams, with the same effort, uh, uh, at some point, the other guy who has better lifestyle, who is healthier, who is not smoking, who is not drinking, he will outperform him. And in such markets like sports betting, you need to outperform others. Okay, And this is why I always try to uh, show you how important is a bigger picture, okay? Health, gym, discipline, uh, right mindset, uh, financial education, financial investments, uh, betting analysis, uh, setting the goals, everything. There is a, the information is out there, okay? You just need to grab it and then make an action because nobody can compete. Uh, unhealthy better cannot compete against healthy better, simply as that, okay? Uh, if they have the same systems, the same betting models, uh, the healthy better, uh, the, a better who has better attention span, who is paying to a little bit more details, he will make less mistakes. And in the long run, he will win uh, against him. Okay, So take this uh, uh, into account uh, if you want to uh, win in such competitive market. Okay, I hope you get some ideas and whatever decide to take, I wish you good luck. And of course, if you want to learn my way of betting, uh, I help sports bettors to win in the long run. Uh, sign up for a free course uh, and uh, that's it for me. Thank you.